Fortnite Battle Royale is coming up onto its seventh year of the game, and over the years it's had its good seasons, its not so good seasons, and some seasons that I would consider to be the greatest in the game's history. In this video, I'll be going over what I believe to be the peak three seasons of Fortnite. Each season will be looked back on and judged on three categories, the map, the items, and the events. Let's start off with the most recent season of the three, Fortnite OG. Going back to Chapter 1 was a thing the entire Fortnite community thought to be impossible, but thanks to some time-traveling shenanigans, we were back. This season was such a breath of fresh air. The past couple seasons of the game ranged from bad to mediocre. So, it felt great to go back to the roots of what made me fall in love with this game. The map. I mean, what can I say? It's the Chapter 1 map. The undisputable, most beloved Fortnite map. Tilted Towers, Salty Springs, Paradise Palms, Greasy Grove, all back in the game. These locations are what made Fortnite, Fortnite. The wackiness of the map and the vibrant colours all over. That combined with the updated graphics made this easily the best Fortnite season visually, in my opinion. The map wasn't too no-build friendly as a zero builds player, but the season actually refueled my love for build mode. The items. The Scar and the Pump are back. That's honestly all I need to say. After years of mediocre ARs and shotguns, the GOATs were finally back in the game. Also, shoutouts to the TAC shotgun, the hunting rifle, the grappler, and the chug jug. It was great to have those back in the game as well. We finally had vehicles in the game that weren't just cars. The planes, ATKs, and especially the drift boards were so fun to use again. The event. I loved the Big Bang event. Back in Chapter 1, my game crashed during the end event, so getting a chance to experience that was awesome. I love seeing my main skin in cutscenes and stuff, so seeing him along with the mains of my friends was also really cool. I think it did an excellent job of hyping us up for the next season too, all while having spectacular visuals throughout. The second season I consider to be peak Fortnite is Chapter 2 Season 4, Nexus War. The Marvel season is a bit of a divisive one between the Fortnite community, but I genuinely think it had some of the most fun gameplay Fortnite ever had. The map. I think the Chapter 2 map is overall very... decent? Not bad, but not great. Although, I think Chapter 2's map peaked during this season. Doom's Domain was a cooler version of Pleasant Park, and I like the little Marvel character landmarks that appeared throughout the season, but there was a clear standout when it came to POIs this season. An entire new biome spawned a couple weeks into the season, with one of the best POIs we've ever had in Fortnite along with it. Stark Industries. This place was always the most populated spot on the map, giving us those old Tilted Towers early game vibes that we were missing. Upstate New York just kinda looked really nice too. This POI also brought one of the coolest boss mythics we've ever had, which brings us to the items. There's a lot, so I'm only gonna list the coolest ones. Okay, deep breath. Iron Man Mythics, Doctor Doom Mythic, Silver Surfer Mythic, She-Hulk Mythic, Thor Mythic, Wolverine Mythic, Venom Mythic, and... Midas Flopper? To this day, I still believe superpower mythics like these and the ones we have in the current season are some of the most fun items added to the loot pool. The Events Midas's Revenge is still the best Fortnite Mirrors event and don't even try to tell me otherwise. We got so much new stuff in this update. Witch brooms, the candies, and a whole new mechanic with the shadow creatures. Also, my main was added this Fortnite Mirrors. Look, there he is. Hi, punk. But that's not all for events this season. We still have a whole ass live event to talk about. I, hunger. I thought this event was really cool. Flying the battle bus, finally seeing Galactus, and having a crazy ending where we finally see Agent Jones in the cinematic. There's one more season I want to talk about. My personal favorite season, actually. But before that, I want to give some honorable mentions to other seasons that I think were really good too. Chapter 2 Season 7, Chapter 1 Season 8, and also 9. 
and Chapter 3 Season 1. But my favorite season in Fortnite has to be Chapter 4 Season 1. I think this season was Chapter 4's peak. Augments were a really cool new feature, and they were really cool this season and actually changed up your gameplay style sometimes. They unfortunately got worse in the next couple seasons. What the fuck is Shrub Mud? The map. Breakwater Bay is my top 3 favorite POIs in this game, and I'm not joking. Me and my friends landed there almost every game. I also really liked Slappy Shores, The Citadel, Faulty Splits, and Shattered Slabs. I really enjoyed the whole chaotic mix of themes around this map. The items. I really liked this loot pool. I always found myself running the Scar and a Thunder Shotgun, both of which I enjoyed using. The Shockwave Hammer was super fun to use, and I liked using the Shield and the Bow Drone too. But by far my favorite part of this season in terms of items was having the Deku Smash and the Dragon Ball Mythics in the game at the same time. This was so unbelievably fun. We were having whole ass anime battles in Fortnite. The event. The most wanted event is one of the most underrated events ever. We got 5 new weapons, all with different gimmick abilities and a whole heat system. This season is still heavily underrated, and it is still my favorite Fortnite season since. Did you agree with any of my picks? Did you disagree? And if so, what's your favorite Fortnite seasons and why? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, I read all of them. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to support me. Thanks for watching.